Right, so today I'm going to very, very quickly show you how to download and set up the Phantom app, which is on Solana. You can also use it for ETH and a few, of, a few of the other chains, but generally was designed and works best when it comes to Solana. And then how to trade uh, simple coins using the Trojan Telegram bot. So really quite simple. I'll go to the App Store. First of all, I need to download the Phantom, Phantom Wallet, so I'm just going to do that now. So click the download icon there, it's the symbol with the ghost. So that's just going to load now and start downloading as you can see. Uh, also what you would like, what you want to do is also download the Telegram Messenger app as well. So Telegram and then the Telegram Messenger thing at the top here, which is a uh, looks like a paper airplane in a blue circle. I've already downloaded that, so that will obviously click open for me now. But again, just click the download app. So then when we go back onto a home screen, we've got Phantom here loading away at the bottom and Telegram just next to it. So once that's downloaded, there we are, we've got Phantom. This is the Phantom app. And what this will do is allow us to create our own wallets. So I'm going to agree to terms of service and create a new wallet. If you already have one, then you can import your seed phrase. But like I say, this video is generally for anyone that's new to setting up a wallet. I'm going to create a wallet. I'm going to put Face ID on because that suits me. Then, so that's my seed phrase. So public seed phrase. I'm not going to put anything in this wallet, by the way. So it won't be compromised but this is the seed phrase you never want to show anyone ever so that is um, this allows anyone access to this specific wallet to be able to then um, they can drain funds on it etc but this is the seed phrase you need to write down and store it somewhere safe so this one's public because like I say I'm not going to use this wallet anyway so it's sort of irrelevant uh, but I will carry on I've written the seed phrase down then I'm all done, I'm set up, I've got my wallet, so I get started and accept notifications and at the minute there is zero dollars in that wallet and it's got some setup already, Solana, Polygon, ETH and Bitcoin, these are the chains that you can put on this. I generally use Phantom just for Solana. So then if I want to send some money to this. Um, normally what I talked about this on a previous video, but you need an exchange account. So you, or you can actually, I think you can actually buy directly on Phantom, even better. So we go Solana, uh, I'd like to buy one Sol, um, $10 of Sol. And then you can do it by Coinbase Pay and connect your card. So that's quite cool actually, I've not done this uh, directly, so let's see how this sort of works. I assume you're just going to have to put in your bank details, etc. You might have to set up an account, I would have thought, but I could be completely wrong. So, yeah, it's logging into my Coinbase account already. So if you have a Coinbase account, perfect, you can do that directly on there. Um, and then buy the crypto directly into the wallet. If you don't, then the other way to do it is click receive and then copy. This is your Solana public address. So I've copied that address. And then I go onto my main exchange account, so whether that's Coinbase, Crypto.com, Mexi, whichever whichever one you're using, and my Solana within my crypto account, I click send and then copy that address into into the exchange um, to where I want to send it, and make sure obviously you're sending it on the right chain. So in this case, you'd be sending if you're sending Sol, you'll be sending it on the Solana chain. Then. And then that will appear, we will have some money within this account once it's received. I'm not going to do it in this instance because like I said, I've just made the seed phrase public. I'm not going to use this uh, wallet in any way, shape or form. It was just for the purposes of showing you this. So once we have our money in there, we are good to go. So now what you could do quite simply is go into the browser and Jupyter, something I use quite a lot. Uh, so Jupyter is a decentralized exchange. It's actually an aggregated exchange. So it's, it, you can buy and sell any coin on here. So if I had some Sol and I wanted to buy one of these uh, many whitelisted coins, you can also buy unwhitelisted coins as well. But 
I will probably show that in another video, but you know, let's say I wanted to buy, find something random. Mother. There you are, that's, I think that's Iggy Azalea's meme coin. And very simply, I put in one, so I'll, I connect my wallet, connect my phantom. And one soul would get me 2,630 mother. And if I had the one soul in there, I could then buy the mother token, which would then show up on my wallet. But I'm not going to do that. The other thing I wanted to show is the Telegram bot Trojan is the one I use. And the link will be in the description. Uh, and once effectively, if you get the Telegram app and you click the link in the description, it will load up to this. This is the Trojan bot. So I want to continue. And I want to, um, so this again, I'm not going to use this one until I'm making it public. But these are the wallets it has now created. So it's created a sole wallet for me, exactly like Phantom, but just within Telegram and an ETH wallet. And again, it's got the secret keys there. I'm not going to use this at any point, so I'm not bothered it being on, um, being in public. And then very quickly, I just go start trading. And importantly, I need to send some Solana to this wallet. So I will copy, and that's my Solana address there, the public address. So I've copied the address. And then I would go into my Phantom wallet, if that's where I had my Solana. And I would go send Solana, paste that wallet in. There we go. Next, and then put whatever I'm putting in there. So one soul, it will click next, and then it would send within seconds later. That would then appear in here into my Solana wallet here on the Trojan. So if I was using this app, I would refresh this and in my balance, it would say one soul, which today is around $170. That's how I get money in. That's how I start. Then I want to buy a coin. So I want to buy. Now this is where you can enter in the symbol or the contract address. My advice is always do the contract address. So go on something like Coin Market Cap or Dex Screener, um, copy the contract address which they're all on there, and you paste it into here. So I will find. Uh, well, let's just do it on a symbol. Let's just go dupe for now. See if that works. I want to buy some dupe. So dupe is a ten billion market cap. Is it really? Yeah, one price or two. That's right. That's dupe. That's the Jupiter coin. And what I could do is then choose how much soul. So if it has one soul, 0.5, I could write in my specific type of soul. So 0.1 soul if I wanted to. Click that in. And then if I had the balance, that trade would have executed straight away. So really nice and simple. Then you can view detailed information about your holdings. If I owned anything in this token, it would then come up and show the tokens that I own the value, whether it's up or down from the point I bought it. And what I might do is try and find uh, one that I am using to show you and add that into this video just to show you what the visuals are like. Really quite simple. Then if I wanted to sell, well, quite, quite easy. So trade on Solana, I want to sell. I don't have anything to sell here, but then it would show up all my positions. So it might show this Jupiter position here. I could then click sell. 100%, 10%, one soul worth, etc. And as quick as I did the buy, it would very quickly do the sell as well. So really nice and simple for trading coins really quickly and really easily. Another thing to do, I will just go back onto the App Store and another one to download is Dex Screener. So I'm gonna download Dex Screener. So that's going to start downloading. This is a really good app when it comes to one, checking uh, any new coins or checking the price, etc. but also getting the contract address. So I'm just going to quickly show you how you get the contract address to then copy and paste it into the Trojan app. So there we are, open debt screener, just downloaded. These are all the new coins, new trending coins right now. So let's pick this one at the top. I looks dodged to me 15 mil 15 market cap has been out two hours so what I would go is go down to I and click there probably can't see that there. that thing there that's highlighting there that's copying the contract address so then if I went back into telegram and I want to go to buy a token I then paste the address and that should bring up I and then I write in how much I want and then click buy and that would execute that trade nice and simply. 
wonderful, really quick, simple, easy app to use if you're new to trading and want to get in on the various coins and tokens that aren't listed on the main centralized exchanges.